Hello everybody, my name is Steven Batista. I'm a student here at Ryerson University and today I'm going to teach you how to present. I'm going to show you some tips, some tricks, and some things you shouldn't do when you're presenting. With this video, I will show you 10 easy steps. That way, you guys can become expert presenters. Step one, do your research. And no, I don't mean research in the lab. This takes way too long. Instead, go on scholarly websites like PubMed, search up your topic there, and they can provide you important information that may be crucial to your presentation. They can also provide pictures, which is also important for your presentation. This is the right thing to do for research. Step two, formulate your ideas. You may come across a ton of information, but a lot of this information may be irrelevant for your presentation. Find your key ideas, find your important images, order them in terms of relevance, and make connections. This is just my standard on how I formulate my ideas. I started with background, go to visuals, and then importance. Step three, be engaging. Nobody likes a boring presenter. It distracts the audience, it makes them tired, and it causes them not to listen. This is not ideal for a presentation. When you are engaging, the audience becomes interested and tentative during your presentation. This also shows that you are confident in your presentation. Step four, project your voice. You want to have a comfortable volume for both yourself and your audience. You don't want to be too soft or too loud. This may become distracting during your presentation. Step five, face your audience. Your audience is not the whiteboard. Having your back against the audience looks unprofessional. Facing the audience shows confidence in your presentation. Everybody wants to see your beautiful face when you're presenting, not your back. So make sure you face the audience. Step six, use your notes as your guide. Don't read off your notes. This again looks unprofessional. So it is fine to use your notes as a guide, but don't read word for word what's on your paper. Step seven, pace. You want to have a comfortable pace during your presentation. You don't want to be too fast, nor do you want to be too slow. Being too fast or slow may distract the audience again while you are presenting. Step eight, smile. Now, you don't want to force your smile. It kind of looks a little creepy. Just use your natural smile. It shows that you're confident in your presentation. Step nine. This is just an option. Not many people do this, but I particularly like to do this. Dress professionally. When you dress professionally for your presentation, again, it shows that you are confident and you are ready to go for your presentation. Step 10, practice. This is the most important aspect when it comes to presentations. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. When you practice, you become confident in your presentation skills. And that's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.